to this ninth edition of the International Telecourse on Dynamic Energy Budget Theory. This course will cover the basics of the theory and univariate DEB models. My name is Starlight Augustine. I was born in Texas. I grew up in France and I've worked in Denmark and now I work in northern Norway, Tromsø, on applications of DEB theory on environmental impacts. Welcome to this course. Hello. I'm Gonçalo Marques, I'm from Lisbon, uh, from the University of Lisbon and I'm going to help you and accompany you through this experience of the DEB Telecourse in 2017. Hi, I'm Dina Lika, I am from Greece, I work at the University of Crete and I am here to help you with uh, problems related to DEB theory and uh, I welcome you to the course. <coughs> Hello, I'm uh, Bas Koyman. I've been born uh, 20 kilometers from here and uh, I hope that you enjoy your course uh, very much and sp specifically after the course that you find some inspiration here to apply depth theory in your work. Hi, my name is Laura Pickery. I'm from France um, and I've been working uh, mostly on fisheries application but I'm also here to help you going through all the um, uh, theoretical part of dev theory. Hope you will enjoy this course. Welcome! This five-week telecourse on dynamic energy budget theory for metabolic organization is about to begin. Please take this time to familiarize yourself with the course facilities. Over the course of the next five weeks we will read through the different chapters of the course book. There are three important components to this course. The discussion forum, which is the motor and marketplace of the course, where we exchange and trade ideas, where we ask critical questions. Your local discussion group, with whom you will have weekly meetings. It is never fun to work alone, and it is through interaction with our peers and friends and scientific colleagues that we enrich in our ideas. And of course, the course book itself. The essential thing aspect in the discussion during the discussion groups is to demonstrate yourself that progress in science is much more controlled by the questions that we ask rather than by the answers. We were all taught at university that there is a lot of facts and theories that we need to master. But um, you will also see that quite a few research projects make little progress and almost always the lack of progress is linked to the questions that people ask. They are not sharp enough. So sharp, well-formulated questions already guide you through the answers and, and be, become part of a very productive research project. So pay attention to your question. Is it not too vague? Is it exact? And then you will see that exactly formulated questions are, uh, lead to, uh, to interesting answers and generate new questions. You will see that every week you will find a link to that week's discussion forum. And we can make new threads for each question. There is, however, a discussion forum which will be dedicated to any type of technical problems or questions about the general layout of the course, about the material. So please also feel free to ask in that discussion forum. Feel free to email me or other uh, course instructors with any type of question you have. We're here at your service to help you, but we're also here to learn with you. And this is and keep and maintain alive this exciting frontier between learning and research and teaching. Mm -hmm.